know that we have the human element, we have a very solid science element. Right. We're using every capable process that we have from a scientific perspective, as everyone would expect us to, and we will continue to do that until there's nothing left to do. Would that include DNA? It does. Okay. Was DNA found at the scene? It, it includes DNA. We have. directly to the killer who may be in this room. We believe you are hiding in plain sight. For more than two years, you never thought we would shift gears to a different investigative strategy, but we have. We likely have interviewed you or someone close to you. We know that this is about power to you. And you want to know what we know. And one day, you will. A question to you. What will those closest to you think of when they find out that you brutally murdered two little girls, two children, only a coward would do such a thing. We are confident that you have told someone what you have done. Or at the very least, they know because of how different you are since the murders. We try so hard to understand how a person could do something like this to two, child, to two children. I recently watched a movie called The Shack. And there's also a book that talks so well about evil, about death, and about eternity to the murderer. I believe you have just a little bit of a conscience left. And I can assure you that how you left them in that woods is not, it's not what they're experiencing today. Um, but I, I really believe that over time we're going to have an idea that we were onto something early on. But remember, this isn't a 43-minute TV show. Mm -hmm. We have to, we have to, we have to understand that's not just science, but it's also human intelligence. What people know, somebody knows whose body that is, Scott. Mm -hmm. Somebody knows. If you take the head head off of a person that you know you'll recognize the body, whether it be your dad, your brother, your uncle, your friend, your neighbor, your coworker. That's the piece we're waiting on. Uh, we're still as energized now as we were the day after. No one questions Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter's passion to solve the Delphi double homicide case. Every time he talks about it, you can see it in his eyes. It's easy to throw around the, the, the cold case idea. Nah, we're not even close to that. Three years after the homicides, police are continuing to keep what they know close. We asked, but Carter couldn't answer. What we know is what we know, and we're not ready to talk about that yet. How close are you right now to getting this solved? One piece away. One piece away. Eventually, somebody's going to do the right thing. Might be the killer himself. Might be somebody that knows who he is. Two investigators still work full-time on the case from the Delphi City Building. The ISP Laboratory Division, Intelligence Team, and Fusion Center are still combing through the now 50,000 tips. When we're done with all we have, we start over. Again, I think I got 18 tips yesterday, just me, here at my desk. It's easy to be our own detectives and criticize the actual ones, but Carter says they accept that pressure. And I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. We can't talk about what we think. Everybody else can, or what they believe happened. 
We can't. There's been some criticism of me, and I'm, I'm willing to take that. I, I can't explain all the things that I know. That's because only police and the killer know. He has no idea what we know, um, but one day he will. This is a different type of case because police have almost everything they need. I can't think of a time in my entire career or in, in, in many other careers that we have the, the, the voice of the person we believe is the killer, a photograph of who we believe is connected to the, to the murders, and even a, a, a snippet of how he moves. Carter says more information could be released in the future, but for now, this is what we're getting, and he thinks it's enough. Somebody knows. He cautions you to remember the two sketches are not photographs. I believe that eventually we're going to be able to say this person's the killer and there's a combination of those two images that'll land on his face whatever that might look like carter this is one of his priorities in life even if it takes another year he's going to get this solved if if we hit year four i hope we're sitting here again but we will do everything within our power and within the parameters of law to find the individual that did this to abby and libby I believe that, that while I'm the superintendent of the state police, uh, we'll identify this individual. That's within two years, sir. Three. Three years. Three years. Two years and 11 months. They didn't want to push you out. Yeah. So you think within three years something will will? Develop? It could be today. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. But I can say that we're continuing to move in a very positive direction. I was asked earlier, what would you say to Abby and Libby if you saw them today? And I would just simply say, I'm sorry, but I hope you're proud of us for what we've tried to do. And I believe that one day I'll be able to do that. Now ...saying it was connected to the case. Well, I'm not going to talk about where we are because of that, but I can tell you we gleaned a tremendous amount of very positive information. And we're continuing to run those tips down. Do we think this person is local? Um, again, I think that there's a strong likelihood that that's the case, but that's as far as I'm going to go. In December, you came out and said, you asked for the public's help and saying, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. anybody who's communicated with this Anthony Schatz profile yeah. on social media, right. please get in contact. Did Abby and Libby communicate with this profile? I'm not going to talk about that, but I am going to say that we, we learned a tremendous amount through that particular investigative course. What can you tell me about this man who has been arrested, the creator of this profile, uh, Keegan Klein? All I can say about Keegan is that entire issue uh, and the entire release has allowed us uh, to glean significant investigative leads. That's all I can say about him. I've seen in um, um, I've seen in press briefings in the past where you've addressed this person or persons directly. Is there anything that you'd like to say to them? They're watching. You know? they're, they're they're watching. And we'll meet them soon. We'll meet them. And day one is we know about you. We know a lot about you. Should he be afraid? 100% yes. Today could be the day. Sleep well.